So who or what is Mackinite? Mackinite claims to be the largest gaming laptop brand in China. The brand launched the first gaming laptop back in 2014. 1,000 units of the device were sold in the first 10 seconds of their launch. That's around 100 laptops every second. Mackinite has been awarded multiple times Alibaba Strategic Partner and Tmall and Intel Rapid Growth Partner to name a few. Currently, the brand says they have at least 8 million users worldwide but the assumption is most of their users are in China. Mackinac's focus is self-design and customization, refined production and manufacturing processes with the everyday esports fanatic in mind. The name Mackinac, when translated in English, is the machinist, so take that for what it is. So why haven't you heard of Mackinac until now? Mackinac was only accessible through AliExpress.com and served the markets of China, Russia, the United States, Spain, France, and Brazil. Now, Mackinac looks to expand their reach to the Southeast Asia market and is currently accessible on Lazada. I chose Mackinac since I wanted a laptop that was future-proof, to be used for gaming without having to sacrifice the graphics, and also for editing videos and photos for this channel. Meaning in 5 years time, I would like the laptop still to be capable of playing games with advanced requirements and be able to edit photos and videos smoothly. This is not the first time I had purchased a laptop, and the last experience had me feeling disappointed after a year or two. This was due to my laptop not being able to handle games even at a low graphics setting. Mackinac's main selling point to me was its appealing price per performance ratio. Before purchasing the F117V, I did a competitive study. Directly competing with this laptop were my shortlisted Lenovo Y540 and the Acer Predator Helios 300. Both models carry better known brands compared to the F117V, but as you'll see in the video, they are pricier options compared to the Mackinite. And the Mackinite, even though a lot cheaper, had a better hardware option. Now let's find out what you get in the Mackinite F117V. Time to dive in. What's not to love about the Mackinite F117V specs? Let's answer the first question that buyers tend to ask when looking at this device. Are these specs legit? Everything advertises under the hood of the laptop. You get the 10th generation i7-10750H chip, the 16GB of RAM, 512GB SSD, and the 1TB hard disk drive. The NVIDIA RTX 2060 6GB video card and the Windows 10 64-bit is also present here. Let's move on to the build quality. The body of the laptop is made from rigid plastics that's made to look like metal. While there are creaks and flecks in some places, the laptop feels sturdy enough for day-to-day -day use. You won't mistake this as something else but a gaming laptop. The finish has a brushed metal look which is durable and resists light scratches. Along with the LEDs on the exteriors, you'll surely stand out when you bring it to a coffee shop. Look elsewhere if you're looking for stealthy gaming on the go. One of the best things about this laptop is the screen. You get a full HD 15.6 inch ADS wide angle view monitor. It has a 144Hz refresh rate with 72% NTSC. It is mesmerizing to watch videos and movies here on high definition. You can refer to the monitor test for proof. Other laptops with 144Hz displays command premium pricing, but it's already included here with the Mackinac F117V. This is something that hardcore gamers will truly appreciate. Another pro of this model are the speakers. Mackinac doesn't have a partnership with a speaker company like other laptop brands out there, but the sound quality of this machine is pretty good. The output of the speakers is loud, however, lacks in the mid-tones and bass. But cranking it up doesn't lead to distortion, which means you can play games on full volume. Okay. 
The keyboard feels great to the touch when typing on. The keycaps are made of high quality plastic with a matte finish, which is great. There's slight flex on the keyboard deck, but it's to be expected with its plastic build. What is disappointing is the RGB lighting. As mentioned in the unboxing video, it has 4 levels of lighting. Even though the lighting is turned on at the max level, it's hardly noticeable unless viewed in a dark environment. The touchpad is smooth to the touch and runs on Windows Precision drivers. While it's not made of glass like other laptops, the trackpad is a pleasure to use. There's no Windows Hello login, but the fingerprint reader is a great addition and makes starting up your laptop more convenient. Let's move on to the usual crutch of gaming laptops, battery life. The battery on the F117V doesn't hold out too long as you can see on the screen. The longest time I had the laptop on battery was 1 hour and 40 minutes on web browsing and light tasks only. The screen, the processor, and the video card on this model eats up a lot of power. As per my research for this video, gaming laptop batteries average lifespan lasts from 1 to 3 hours only, and it is advisable that they stay plugged in. This means that you'll have to lock the power brick when you leave the house. Leaving your laptop plugged in won't hurt because they won't overcharge. When it gets to 100%, the laptop will run directly off the power cable. Note that high temperatures are the battery's worst enemies, which leads us to thermals. What can I say? This laptop gets hot. I mean really hot when playing high graphic intensive games such as Call of Duty Warzone. The fans and heatsinks do its best to keep the laptop cool, but it's advisable to use a stand to help with airflow with this one. The fans are audible when the device is being pushed, as demonstrated here. One special feature this laptop has to combat the heat is the max fan. This is activated by a function button and the number one on the keyboard. This gets the fans to at a maximum of 6300 RPM. So now, let's talk about after sales. The laptop has a complete machine warranty for one year. The main hardware such as the motherboard, graphics card, memory, hard disk, and other hardware components have a two-year warranty. Currently, they do not have a service center in the Philippines, and their closest after-sales center is located in Hong Kong. If there are any issues with the device, the laptop can be sent to Hong Kong. Mackinac will cover the round-trip freight fees as part of their service warranty. All in all, I think the Mackinac F117V with its specifications and its price point is a steal. There was just a concern regarding if the hardware and specs of the laptop were properly advertised, especially with a relatively unknown brand in the Philippines such as Mackinite. All concerns regarding the hardware and specs we have now debunked. For 10 to 25,000 pesos less than the Lenovo Legion and the Acer Predator, you get comparable specs but a newer 10th gen Intel processor. The RTX 2060 and Video Video Card can run the latest games at high and very high settings. Add the 144Hz display and you have a very competitive gaming rig. However, for the price, you make some sacrifices for the plastic build quality and the long term reliability which is a question mark for now. The battery life of the F117V is average for gaming laptops. It lasts about 2 hours for basic tasks and a maximum of 1 hour for unplugged gaming. The device, as discussed, runs very hot when being pushed to its limits. It's a good idea to invest in a cooling pad for this one. The customer service of Mackinac on Lazada has been very responsive, answering all my questions and inquiries and keeping my concerns at bay. It seems like Mackinac is pushing their brand to be known not only in China but worldwide, and they would like to make every buyer feel special and assured of their quality. Who knows where the brand and popularity of Mackinite will be in 5 years. Also, while researching for this video, I've come to know more about my laptop and how to properly take care of it. At the end of the day, the laptop, like all electronic devices, will only last long if the user properly takes care of it. 
Hope you enjoyed the film mills feature on the Mackinite brand and our review of the F117V model. If you have any questions or reactions, feel free to comment down below. If you appreciated this video, please like, subscribe, and share as we'll be putting out more videos like this. This is the film mill. Catch you in the next video.